Today they give us these new troops called tactical privateers. However, from what I've seen, you still cannot use them in battles, unfortunately. To recruit them, you have to have these new troops called sailor privateers. Unfortunately, it seems like you cannot train them via the training camps. However, there does seem to be a way to recruit them that will be available in three days once chapter 4 ends, and that is through the base fortresses on the map. If you view any of the base fortresses on the map, you'll notice that the buff that your entire city gets from it is the sailor recruit speed of the city goes up by 5 per minute. So I'm assuming that once your city occupies a base fortress, everyone in your city that is on the season map will automatically start getting 5 sailor privateers every minute. If your city occupies let's say 10 of these base fortresses, then everyone will get 50 privateers per minute. It also says that there's a maximum recruit limit for these sailor privateers which is 300,000. Now this could be the personal recruit limit for each player, but I don't think it is. I think it is the building's limit. Because according to the description, it says that if this building reaches the limit, then sailors will no longer be trained until the occupant collects them. This means that once you collect them, it'll start producing more sailors regardless of how many sailors you have. Also, the limit of the tactical privateers can be increased all the way up to 600,000 through tactical contracts, so it doesn't make sense for the sailor privateers cap to be at 300,000. So here's how I think the production works. Let's say your city occupies one of these buildings. Now everyone in your city will start getting 5 sailors every minute which they'll be able to claim from the council hall. Let's assume that there are 100 players in your city and let's say that no one claims these troops after they're produced. This would mean that this building is producing a total of 500 troops every minute or 300,000 troops every hour. So after 10 hours, this building will become full and it'll stop producing troops and everyone in your city will have 3,000 sailor privateers ready to be claimed. Let's say one of the players in your city claims these 3,000 privateers. This will cause the training to start again till it reaches 300,000. So this means that if you have players with a lot of farm accounts on the season map, they'll have to be active on these accounts and claim their privateers regularly otherwise it'll hurt the city. However, this is just my guess on how it'll work based on what I've read. We'll find out for sure how it works once these base fortresses open. Your sailor privateers will automatically start converting to tactical privateers just like all the other tactical troops. Their base conversion speed is 3600 troops per hour. If you're liking this video so far, then be sure to scroll down right now and leave it a like. Thank you. Now just like all the other tactical troops, these tactical privateers also have their own contracts in the tactical squad base. The only difference is that to invest in the contracts of these tactical privateers, you need a resource called privateer evolve coin which is different from the regular tactical evolve coins that you need for other troop types. To get these privateer evolve coins, your city needs to occupy these buildings called Pirate Leagues which produce these privateer evolve coins for the entire city. Similar to the base fortresses, these buildings will produce 5 privateer evolve coins per minute and have a maximum capacity of 300,000. This is another reason why I don't think the 300,000 capacity is a personal capacity because it doesn't make sense to put this cap on resources since there is no cap on similar resources like Hitman coins, Family Gold, and regular Evolve coins. I think the production of these coins will work similar to the production of Sailor Privateers, which I just explained earlier. There will be a limit of 300,000 per building and once that limit is reached, production will be stopped until players claim their Evolve coins from the Council Hall. The tactical privateer contracts seem to be way more expensive than those of the regular troops, so you might not be able to max out the entire tree during the three rounds of the season. I think you should simply aim to max out the bulker attack, defense, and health stats in the third line of this tree because I don't think you'll be using tactical privateers in actual battles since they're only T8, so it doesn't make sense to increase their stats. One last thing that I want to cover are the number of small buildings that you can find on the map. I've already explained what the base fortress and the pirate leagues do. However, there's a third building as well called the shipwreck. 
This building gives your city 1% more crew attack, defense, and health on being occupied. Here are the numbers of these buildings that can be found on the map. Around level 1 HQ fortresses, you can find 26 pirate leagues, 24 shipwrecks, and 25 base fortresses. If you occupy all 26 pirate leagues, you'll be able to get 187,200 privateer evolve coins every single day. If you occupy all 24 shipwrecks, you'll get 24% crew attack, defense, and health. And if you occupy all 25 base fortresses, you'll get 180,000 sailor privateers every single day. Around level 2 HQ fortresses, you can find 61 pirate leagues, 42 shipwrecks, and 98 base fortresses. Occupying all 61 pirate leagues will give you 439,200 privateer evolve coins every single day. Occupying all 42 shipwrecks will give you 42% more crew attack, defense, and health and occupying all 98 base fortresses will give you 705,600 sailor privateers every single day. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video. If you haven't liked the video yet, then be sure to scroll down right now and leave it a like. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. To support me, you can find my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.